back on the lot this morning for something a little unique. As we were, well, as they were digging the holes for the monolithic slab, we determined that there were two sections where the ground was just too soft. We would have to dig that piling uh, 15 feet deep to get down to solid ground. So instead of all of that digging and all the concrete needed to fill that, we're doing an application called a helical pile. But that also means we've got to get the pile boring machine across our footing forms. We need one of those that was easy buttons. Yeah, that worked well. This hole here is already four feet deep and we would have had to go at least another five get the solid ground and maybe even more. Same with that one. So we're doing two helical piles just in these two holes. There was a little depression under the ground right about here and I never could figure out what it was. There wasn't any water in it but we did find a couple other spots on the lot where there were uh, sort of small landfills like just a hole with pipe in it and some carpet and just Almost like someone had dumped on the lot and buried it throughout the year. So it may have just been something like that. But that has led to a soft spot under a foundation that we need to take care of before we put a house on top of it. So the helical piles are going to go down deep. They'll support the foundation in a soft area with friction. How deep is that? Yeah. So we're 27 feet down. Yeah, that was a little deeper than you thought. Yes. I was hoping that we could get it with the first pole. And we ended up going tw approximately 27 feet. So 27 feet on two pilings, it's 54 feet. You pay by the foot. So this is costing us about 1,500 bucks. Now, that isn't gonna be offset by the concrete we're not using, but it is gonna be offset by the fact that I'm not gonna have a cracked foundation in about five years. And you didn't have to drill 
because we would have ended up going nine, 12 feet before we found our problem. Right. And then have to call these guys. So, so all that it, concrete, we won't have to pay. Yeah, so it was a good preemptive measure. It was the right decision for this job, and it gave us the opportunity to, to show another cool application. Yeah. Um, so again, you know, we're talking about a greenhouse here, but when you make a home to last, when you make a home that's durable, uh, the longer you can get lifespan out of the investment you're putting into resources, fi financial and um, material resources to build a house, that's green too. So a strong and durable foundation. That's one thing that makes a greenhouse green. Thanks for watching. Please like and share and subscribe for new videos weekly. The Green Shorts Greenhouse, uncovering what makes a greenhouse green.